All right. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to post two videos today because I didn't post one yesterday, so I'll just post today's video. I was going to try posting it with the YouTube link, but it didn't really work the way I wanted it to, and I was like, nah, fuck it. I had to make food. So, so here's what we're looking at. We got the pound. It was a loss, which was bullshit. We'll take a look at that, and then we're open on the dollar CAD we took. Uh, first profit target, but we're still in it for the second one. So, take a look at this. So, I conveniently have the pound up. Aha. So came in, hit, rallied down, came within a couple points of hitting the profit target, and then like 1.4 points, and then rallied. So that's bullshit. But it does happen. So take the picture. Still a good trade. Still a good setup. Still potential opportunity on the pound. So there we go. Let's so, delete all the lines. I think I deleted a rectangle too, but whatever. Not a big deal. So, now we're just looking for a breakout right now below there that we can take to the downside. Part of me thinks this is going to work right here. <clears throat> so, yep, there's that, and then a dollar CAD. Take a look at this. Came down. I think we didn't take this. That would have been an opportunity. But anyways, we didn't uh, didn't take that. Although it looks like it would have worked. Yeah, that would have worked, and then the second target wouldn't have been hit. And then this one, I took it off at the first. I did take it off early, like there ish. Still got that one to two. Actually, like better than that. Eight. Yeah, because it was a 2% win. I'm like, you know what, I'm just... No, it was like right here is where I took off. Like right there. Right straight. Right on this little area. Um, but yeah, I'm not moving the stop yet. We didn't go 3 to 1 away yet. Um, so it could retest and then go. But yeah, that's what we're looking at there. So let's try to find some new trades. That's what it's all about. Alright, so the euro is just low on the curve. Got to wait. We already looked at the pound, the Aussie, high in the curve, but it's an uptrend. New Zealand dollar was low on the curve. Now it's high on the curve. So you can't really do anything there. Dollar cat, we already looked at. Dollar franc. High on the curve. Ooh, we might have an opportunity here. Get the breakout. Let's go to the lower time frame. Ooh, we do have a, we have two opportunities. Probably one though. It's just this higher area right here. Maybe we get a three to one out of that. So probably have uh, eight point. Area, eight point level. Really, six point level. We'll go nine point stop, 22.2 point target. So, there we go. That's the opportunity. All right, 
And so it's 98 10 4. So, yep, there we go. This could be the beginning. Hopefully, we can get back up there and it'll touch and we can take it lower. Otherwise, it'll make a downtrend. We'll have another opportunity um, before it gets low on the curve, ideally. Oh, yeah, it's actually kind of funky. It's got all these really weird one candle, like, wicks, like, this one. Oops. Like this one, and like this one. Anyway. So, this trade's not uh, good anymore. Because <clears throat> it would be an uptrend by the time it gets there. 8440 is low. What? 8440 is higher than 8380, so we definitely would have an uptrend. Whatever. We do have a higher breakout point. That's pretty nice. The levels, yeah, if we get a close below this on the 240, that's probably going to be a pretty solid opportunity to get in. <clears throat> Euro yen. What do here is this? There we go. Now it's all included. Even though this was a close above, it still looks it looks nicer. Everything still would apply as normal. So we're just waiting for a turn in that. We got an uptrend. Here it appears. Let's see if we can find some opportunity on the pound yet. Three buyers. I'm going to call it this. I'm going to set this up. It's pretty 
close to one two. So on the arrival, technically, I mean, if we're doing the arrival rules, this would be like the next area. This this is kind of like almost breaking the rules because we needed a two to one push away. Kind of use this, but it's still like good technically. So we'll see. We'll see on this one. We would come along the curve. It's trading in like this daily fucking range garbage. So we'll we'll see about this one. Almost missed that. Uh huh. That was a nice little trend here. So that actually changes everything. So this is the zone I'm going to take. So we're going to take both of these. This area caused the close above. This is the close below that, so we're good. What's up? Go come on. So this will be uh, six, 68 and 73.
There we go. All right, so we do get a pretty good opportunity here in the pound yen too. We gotta pay attention. So we'll bring that back over. And that's what we're looking at right there. I see because we have no close, closes below here. So that's probably divergence. That's divergence to the downside. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we'll see what happens as per usual. Pause again. Really there for me. Gadian. Some of this annoying shit. No clothes above yet. I would still like to take this short. That's we're high on the curve. For that uh, swing load to be broken. Cad, <clears throat> waiting for a turn in. What? Waiting for a turn in trend. Almost had it there. You're awesome. Broke really demand. We are still on the curve. Move. I'm actually going to move my curve now. This is a little prematurely, but I think this is going to be a new level. Because we'll have the close below, probably. We'll see, though. We'll see what actually happens. It is pretty premature. All right, so Euro New Zealand is crashing. Yo, Frank. Holy fuck. It's annoying.
And the same kind of thing on here. Oh boy, I should have done it from the other side. breakout point right there so I'm just gonna wait on that see what happens so we got out here see if we didn't get to close above we just saved ourselves from a loss <clears throat> lots of CAD is the same as 916 so we don't got a down air or down move yet we have an uptrend so no shorts available there just easier to delete that to be honest okay there we go so we're waiting for a breakout or an uptrend form on here we did come in a daily demand What's that? 20th? Uh, 6. So last week. The Concad is just doing its own fucking thing right now. Looks like we would have had a winner there, though. Probably that 15 minute level. Yeah, right there. There's your level. Ticked right in there. It's okay. Sixty month candle. <sighs> it's annoying, huh? Now we run the pound cad. Did we skip the euro pound? No, we didn't. Okay, good. Pound Aussie, we were okay. Pound cad. So that's our breakout. Uh, point right there or a swing high that we need to break close above oh god sometimes I wish I still could trade twice a day so I wouldn't have to fucking move so much so many of these boxes there's a struggle just kidding I'm just being lazy okay so this is just a wreck on the curve, so hopefully it just keeps kind of going higher, catches the daily demand or supply, and then turns lower, so we can get some short opportunities. So that's the pound frank. All right, so that's what we got for today. <clears throat> um, let's see. So yep, we got the pound, two pound yen, a dollar franc, and two pound yen trades. The dollar cat is still open. Starcraft's gonna pop up here.
and yeah, we'll see what happens on that. We haven't had a second retest yet, and we haven't had three to one move away. So, yeah, we'll just keep it as is. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking at. Um, I'm going to post just the YouTube link and the pictures of these trades. So the pound yen and dollar franc on here. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you get these videos as they come out. Um, have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.